To make new discoveries, you have to go to unexplored territories. Imagine yourself at a busy intersection, and there's this road coming in at a high speed with all these new software ideas, and another road with all these image processing ideas, and another road with new kinds of high-speed computers and artificial intelligence, and all these things are coming in that you can put together to power this technology forward. The question is, can this have an impact on society? Can you translate this so that it improves patient care? We have to go beyond what we're working on for success. OCT uh, stands for Optical Coherence Tomography. Much like ultrasound or, or radar, you send out a pulse and that pulse travels out and then you get reflections and you measure those reflections. It has much higher resolution than ultrasound near microscopic level. Uh, it can be done without contact. That make it uniquely useful for imaging small structures that have complex internal layers and uh, have critical functions. And these include uh, the eye, the retina inside the eye in particular. There are roughly 40 million ophthalmic OCT procedures performed every year and dealing with major eye diseases like macular degeneration and glaucoma and diabetic retinopathy. So it's had a huge impact in ophthalmology. Cardiology is number two in terms of uses, but there are OCT devices looking at cancer. On the non-medical side, people have looked at it to study coral, counterfeit currency, art, you know, a Van Gogh painting. So the amount of non-medical applications of OCT is just amazing. This was a multidisciplinary team uh, with people who had extensive experience in clinical medicine and in engineering. It was a very open and fluidic environment and uh, we just seemed to mesh so well. I think we were a little bit of trailblazers in that. When we started, it was relatively uncommon. The very first clinical trials in OCT happened right here at the New England Eye Center. It was possible to image over 5,000 patients, which set the precedent really for understanding how you could use OCT to diagnose retinal diseases. That collaboration between MIT and the New England Eye Center was very fruitful. It really became apparent to clinicians how having this very high resolution imaging could really improve outcomes in patients. And I think that transformation was really what made OCT successful. I think the future of OCT is very promising, but it's challenging. Because of this multidisciplinary nature of OCT, these innovations are still coming at a rapid clip. And I'm 100% sure that the next 30 years are going to be equally amazing. Many new potential targets for research and making impact. So I think I'll be busy for the rest of my life, just, just in this particular area. As an engineer, as a scientist, I feel that it's important uh, that we are doing work that contributes to society. It's really quite satisfying to know that things you created and contributed to with others have gone out in the world and affected people in positive ways. Constantly having new ideas uh, and exploring them is what keeps me going. There are almost infinite combinations to making it better and it actually makes an impact in people's lives.